So today what I want to do is I want to react to a story by Unique Mecca Audio. What I like to do on my channel is to, uh, I like to put, I, I like to introduce you to a lot of people that you might not have heard about. And um, Unique, he's a former kingpin. He's from New York City. He's from what I call the old New York. And he did, he did 26 years in the feds. And he's basically trying to help the youth not go to prison by really letting you know what it, what it's like. It's not glamorous. It's not cool. It's a psychological environment where a lot of people just don't have the wits to survive. And in this story, we're going to talk about a conflict between the Serenios versus the New York car. The New York car is made up of African-American gentlemen. And uh, it's a situation where you think your homeboys got your back. But if you don't fight for yourself and you allow somebody else to intimidate you, they're going to get you themselves. You understand? So check this out. I'm going to lay the context for you. Go check his channel after you watch my video. All right. Here's the volume. Family. So this is about the New York car. Now, Big C, we up in a joint. Big C, you know, his wife coming through. You know what I mean? Because all our girls did it. So let's, you know, let's just keep it 100. His wife coming through and she bring him a little weed so that, you know, make sure that when he go back, he can knock the week out. You know what I mean? He can get nice, write a letter. You know what I mean? He can get nice, get on the phone. He go nice, you know, get nice, go lift some weights. You know what I mean? Like, you know, do doing pull-ups and all that. You know what I mean? You, you get that? All right, so basically what he said is, all right, so Big C, he's from the Supreme team. That's a famous clique from New York City. Supreme was a leader, big drug dealers associated with 50 Cent. And uh, what happened is Big C's girl normally brung we, she doesn't know what the package is. Somebody of Mexican descent is sending her the drugs, and all she does is contraband it and bring it to the prison so that her husband can generate an income. Now, Unique said that for a nickel bag of weed, you can make a thousand dollars in federal prison. Okay, but with three grams of her with three grams of what they call a, a heroin, you can make three thousand to fifteen thousand. Okay. And both are the same size. The weed is the same. So you can break roughly the same size of weed and heroin. There's a large difference in the money you can make. You can make 10 times the money with the same size. So big C figures, instead of smuggling weed, I'm going to take it to heroin. That way I can generate more money. And millions of dollars are generated in prison. So what happens is a Serenio invests. He gives him the money. And, you know, he knows Big C's word is good. He knows that this girl is going to bring it. So he pays him, gets it, and he orders a certain amount of grams. His girl doesn't want to bring it. When she, she feels the package and she sees that it's not cushiony like weed. It's not soft like weed. It must be a harder narcotic. And she doesn't want to take that risk. She's okay with getting in trouble for weed, but not a harder drug. So she's taking a long time to bring it. Big C has to convince her and persuade her. The Serenio was thinking that Big C is playing him. And took advantage of him and took his money. But in reality, his girl just doesn't want to bring it. So let's get deeper into the story. And then we go in the kitchen. You know, all the homies is out there, you know, after we eat, then we go out in the gym. So now that's how all the homies hanging out in the gym. You know what I mean? Then you got the Mexicans looking through the bars. You know what I mean? From their little section where they at. You understand what I'm saying? So they looking like, oh, man, I know we're going to have to go to war with this dude. He done carried the big homie towards me, giving him nothing. So, you know, hell ain't no, everybody know all hell about the break loose, you know? So what he's saying is the Mexicans, the, 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 the Serenios are under the impression that Big C is playing them and he robbed them. But in reality, his girl is not bringing it because he switched from weed to heroin. Now, Big C gets tired of the Serenio asking him where it's at. Every single day, he's coming to him multiple times per day. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? When is it coming? So Big C gets tired of it and says, you know what? Stop asking me that. Then the next time he says, the Serenio says, you're playing me. And Big C is like, you know what? Since you think I'm playing you, I'm going to play you. You're not getting your order. And that's that. So you think his, you'll think the Serenios will have his back, right? A man put his hands on you. You swing a blow, attempt to swing a blow. Once you throw that blow, then the whole car going to roll with you. All right. So what happens is Big C beats up the Serenio, doesn't give him the drugs. The Serenios and the Mexican Mafia stab up that guy. They stab that Serenio. Why? Because he allowed somebody from another group, another race, to take advantage of him and intimidate him, which is against the rules. So you young boys out there who think you understand the game, prison is a psychological environment, and a lot of y'all aren't ready for it. Go check out Unique Mecca Audio. He's the man. He's back. He's got great stories. Peace.